The moon is high into the sky and that is not the only thing for today because for today we are going to fly into the sky but before doing that there is one thing I just need to set straight from the last episode and that is reuse this crane on a different way or better to say give it some modification so we could do what we should have been doing in the last episode. So what is different on this guy? Well if I now press Q some counterweights are gonna go up. This should take care that I'm not falling falling forwards let's see if it's going to work well let's drive this guy into position and if it doesn't going to work then i have still one more backup plan i'm going to carefully set it close as possible to the edge and now yeah it is still a little bit wobbly but ooh, we should now be able okay I have it attached <laughs> and now ooh, careful 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 okay, let's just set it back first like that and then put my wheels on going backwards and at the same time yes I freaking did it so yeah I, I was watching my video and I was like studying this vehicle and I was like okay if I had my mind a little bit more clear, I should have just added this weight right away. Okay, so in this case, let me just also do it like that. And or I had a comment of JD also saying I should have added some counterweight. So I went ahead and made this vehicle. But that is not the only thing I've been making. I've also been messing around once again with a drone type of deal. And I, I really went into the options. I kind of also added the idea what I added onto the hovercraft so if I would go like sideways I now have a way to stop myself from going sideways that is the first thing the second thing of all is I didn't give everything like full power so I have some thrusters on the back that should push me forward the only problem with that is it pushed me also downwards so what i did up front is added some thrusters which gives me a little bit of power to stay straight to say yeah I, I will i will show you all of this good stuff once it's time okay now let's uh, put that back right backwards put it on the wheels <laughs> and there we go so this is how i should have done it and the thing here is i actually checked out my drone and if this thing you know didn't work 100 percent i could have just used my drone or better to say long story short this is the one last ground thing because that one is actually the last one so now on we're only going to do fly missions so this is basically my drone vehicle it's it's just kind of the same like i had before only it doesn't have wheels yeah i can go you know that way if needs i can go that way if needs which can better show like that you know like stabilizers I can go forwards and if i go forwards you know you see like the down thrusters up front which you know if i didn't add that you know it's it's gonna go down very quickly to say and of course left and right so these are actually the features i also added to the hovercraft vehicle now still again it is fishy because there is no real way to just stabilize yourself once you're wobbly like that you have to be so very uh, careful do not, you know, stress out. And the thing is, I have been reading into the forums that it's it's kind of, how do you say that? Everyone seems to have a bit of a trouble creating a vehicle that could, you know, just stay a little bit on one spot. Now, of course, there are people that have been very much amazing with this kind of stuff. Ooh, okay, so here we be. Now, as you can see, my vehicle is too low, so it is not like that things are going to be easy from now on. Of course, if I go like that, and just, yep, there we go. Turn it on, rotate it around, and then we can move to wherever we need to be. Now, the reason why I say it's not going to be easy is because I do believe into the sky there are massive blocks. There are these super heavy gigantic 
balls up there and then i still going to get some problem because this thing is not going to do it in general but of course i can always you know modify something basically the same type of idea but then bigger this is also a thing this this guy once it goes down it is very difficult to get it back up again oh god there it goes <laughs> Okay, get back up. Turn around. Ooh. Alright, so I did it. But see. It is a big one, but it's arm holy moly. <laughs> okay. Just calm down there for a second. Hmm. Is it attached? Yep, it is attached and definitely way too heavy. And then drop it. How <laughs> did we just do that? Yeah, this thing is not okay. Easy peasy. This thing doesn't have any trouble getting the block. Now, to be honest, I have been thinking though, should I really, really, really grab all of this, all the coins type of deal? It's just going to level me up. Um, I do need 25 of these things. I could do it, mm, but just let me know if you want me to do it. Because it's basically going to be a, a video, you know, me cutting through those parts. I'm not sure if that will be interesting to, you know, show. Right, where is this guy? This guy is there. Oh yeah, so that is like a beam type of deal. Now the only nice thing about this guy really is... To say... Ooh. That's okay. That is fine. That is absolutely fine. Like, you can go up easy, right? But once you drop down to say, like, losing speed... Um... Losing height, then it's going to be intense difficult to get enough power to boost yourself up again if you fall harder than your thrusters can handle, something like that. Okay, careful here. Ooh, an helic. Like, why is this thing all the way up here? Like, what is the point then of, you know, stuff? Alright, so in this case, I believe that were all the separate type of, um, you know, little islands around oh yeah we also have to, uh, you know i completely forgot about that it is it is okay it is okay we now have this thing i have said only airplane mission so yeah here we be it's it's okay it's okay all right Ooh. so what i think what the best thing to do is you know i I'm, i should not mess around there secondly of all it's a big guy what are you trying to say here i should just take it easy switch it to this guy grab that what Gee, that's a big window. Make like a Millennium Falcon. That would be insane, right? I, I bet someone already made something like that. People are pretty insane with what they can do. So let's see if it works. Because it can also happen that... Yeah, this will happen. And I should have with my silly... Yep, I, I, I know. I know. Yep, and... Ah, oh, for crack's sake. I know what I did wrong there. Indeed. Okay, so here is drone number two. Basically, this is the same like the one before. I only extended certain bits and pieces. The thing here is, as you can see, I have used max already. So I cannot add more engines, more thrusters, and whatever not. If need, I can add more power. Which in this case, I actually think that I can better do it already since that thing is going to be heavy on my stomach. So let's give the half more power. This means we can just do this and have a quicker reaction also when going down, right? Which makes it also a little bit more difficult if it's about maintaining speed. So I'm going to make it myself a little bit easy here. It's going to go sideways. I hope this works. Okay, not too bad. It works. Uh, yes, you can imagine, like, once we're on the ground, I, I do have to switch off. Like, there is no way that I, you know, can fly this thing underneath with these big boys. And I have to say, these, these thrusters don't show any sign of trouble right now. Uh, having to 
fight the weight of this guy ah oh, a funny one huh this is going to be a difficult one because that guy can handle anything let alone me dropping the thing on the floor all right let's see first what you are a one by three block that is a block that i was looking for what for a very long time all right so here's the thing i have an idea this is going to be an idea that is just going to be for now this is just something that is going to be de-attached uh you know you could say well, what about what about yeah what about it and uh, what about other moments well i could save it as oh the, the only problem is i'm missing out on a power core i would say i need one power core in order to you know what that's a good one actually let's just wait with this red one and then first find a power core because i'm going to need one engine in order to drive this thing now actually the nicest thing about having the map which i should check out first yeah we have another bomb there, which is between in the trees <laughs> gonna be a lot of fun to take that one out yeah, so what did they say the best thing is we have that is all unknown salvage oh okay i thought i could see like what is a power core now i know these red ones are power cores well mind you the one on the volcano was a uh, the dragon engine dynamite oh you can just blow up your vehicle if you're tired of it huh but only big operation c so let me guess i'm going to need that thing oh i'm not even sure if this is going to work out though problem here is ladies and gentlemen i cannot add any more power to this guy oh freaking who i need that but how am i going to get that thing down the thing is we are on the ocean type of deal now, there is a lot here and there that might be able to drop and land and this here is also something that's going to be really difficult you know thinking after it like five to ten minutes the solution is actually way more simpler for a timely solution for what i can do here i just basically attach like a couple of these long guys and then i just attach the simple flight wheels and now i can just you know grab this guy which apparently is a 4x8 block which is just huge and now i can bring this guy to a beam now what i'm going to do here is since this is not a power core i will grab all of the power cores upstairs before i'm going to make a more powerful machine and or then i will just transform this guy into a vehicle that has you know normal wheels normal engines i can just drive forward instead of just because these wheels are actually blocking they are not like free wheels which is actually a good thing because that makes me not slide off the hill and still being able to you know go forward for a bit i did try the sleigh wheels or the ski wheels yeah but you you know everything that is inclined makes you you slide down all right let's see if i can land it at least a little bit safe down here like the distance is not too much uh be careful there so yeah this is how i can do it but yeah as you can see it is not really steerable but at least now i got it so all right so before i press on play i just wanted to let you know i got all the power cores that i could grab and i got one two three four extra of these gimbals and i have another extra engine now let's see if i can grab this guy it is currently rolling because i crashed against it but let me see here can i Ooh, i can but it's very heavy uh, i have to be very very careful but as you can see i cannot do it there we go all right let's quickly switch off before the sting takes off wow there we go and i actually got some more information but first let me just check out the stuff here so there we have it blades for the helicopter it's actually this kind of a size which is you know assume okay and then we also have the helicopter engine v2 with static top and bottom now i'm not quite sure what the difference is between v2 and the v1 so I might just need to pick up v1 now the other information that i have is that all of these golden things are now grabbed or at least so far i could look and these bucks they don't count towards the gold goal 
There we go. So another engine. Now it's going to get interesting. Helicopter engine, a block that can spin around quickly. And an helicopter engine with static top and bottom. What does that mean? Does that mean it's going to keep you straight? Let me just see something here. I think what I can actually best do right now is just grab one of the earlier versions. You know, this guy was very unstable. Ah, yeah. Helicopter, huh? But it is apparently not what it means. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to try and see if I can fix a helicopter and or I'm just going to do some underwater stuff and then I'll be back with you guys again. All right, it is like a week or one and a half later. I got a little bit busy, but eventually I started this just up again. I brought a few couple of these little power cores and whatever not from the sky islands toward this thing. And then all of a sudden I completed it even without grabbing all of these and or type of deal and sensors and whatnot logic gates. I was really thinking this guy, I was going to need that for the spaceship, but apparently I don't. Now, of course, I got two options or go to the launch pad. It was really unexpected for me. So that's why I missed it. The only thing uh, it, what happened is that the female was saying, yo, it is 100% done. Go to the launch pad and that's it. And yeah, like I wanted to say, I have a couple of options or I'm just going to go to the launch pad and this like campaign main mission type of deal. And then the next time we can do some fun races or at least see if it is like fun or whatnot um but i'm not sure if there will be an achievement thing going on yeah okay thank you <laughs> and since these are maybe six of them i could go up down up down up down it's a little bit i have to say the last part once you have like a very good vehicle and you don't have to you know search around anymore you got everything done yeah, it's a little bit like a repetitive type of deal because i can do everything and the map is clean except for the gold though i have been searching for hours upon hours i was getting frustrated at some point and that's basically at a part where i kind of stopped because i tried to make like a helicopter and that didn't work out now i do have to give a little feedback on what this could be or how to make this like lesser repetitive like there's like the sky island over there with this beam but then I'm like, it, that thing is almost like useless. Why not just putting it up into the sky somewhere in the middle? And because it is still not easy. You still need to get all of these bits and pieces in order to, you know, make like a nice floating type of deal. Before you can even lift those very heavy boys up to not the middle. Because if you just drive off the cliff, you're not going to get back off, up again because you know you don't have enough power so that's the only thing that i would have changed as a death but i i just want to say like you know overall i i've really enjoyed myself or else i would have just already you know stopped the game after a few couple of episodes yes there were frustrating moments and yes there were a lot of fun moments um but that's why i also want to give the rally race an option but that's why i want to give the rally race also a chance of um you know to see what is up with that and i'm thinking of it can i not just get rid of two of these since i needed two of these for the big boy oh maybe you can only do max two okay no wait a minute okay we got three of these there we go the very last and final bits and i'm not really getting an achievement right now maybe the game needs to heat up or something and what i'm also going to do i am going to go and pick up <laughs> where is it at i guess it will be this one going to pick up my very first car here to race to the finish Look at that with the little lightning things on it. I never really managed to do like a very colorful car because then I need to make like something black and then I can add stickers on it. Green is my favorite color, but sometimes it's very troublesome. I guess partly black and partly green would have done something, but it's not always that easy. All right, here we be. The end of this 
stuff. Wow! Alright, so, yeah, then down here, we have the rally races, we have treasure stuff, we could just take a little look like, maybe there is something fun in here, or, you know, let, I, let me just click on it, let me just do a tiny little spoiler down here. Easy Rider, racing for one target, one minute 14 something, okay. What you write about this? Uh, no. Can I not just take one? Of, oh, there is a lot of. Oh. Oh, okay. So I get you. We we just need to. Ah, interesting. Well, you want to see more? <laughs> Let's go on to the next episode then.